uh, insurance companies are really taking a look at these lithium ion batteries and the fires that they cause. We're not talking about electric cars here. We're not talking about charging stations. We're talking about items like e-bikes, scooters, skateboards, all these kind of items that contain these lithium ion batteries. It's very possible that insurance companies are going to start turning to associations and saying, look, you could not have these in the interior anymore. People have them in their townhomes. They have them in the foyers. Condominium high rises have bike rooms where they can have numerous of these kind of vehicles. So my first question is, there's a lot of different types of vehicles that have these kind of batteries, especially e-bikes and scooters. Where is an association going to be when an insurance company says that these are prohibited devices? Are they going to have to go to people that have, and I'm going to hit the disability part last, don't worry, but are they going to have to go to people that have these e-bikes, electric skateboards? Are high rises like mine, for an example, going to have to toss all the electric bikes out of the bike room? What's going to happen? A condominium has a legal obligation to carry certain insurance. That's non-negotiable. And if it is unable to get the legally required insurance without committing to the prohibition of these ion batteries, then it will have to adopt policies and rules that prohibit those items. And then it will have to act in a way that fosters that policy. When it comes to stuff in people's units, it'll be a presumably a don't ask, don't tell policy. I'm sure people have stuff in their units all the time that they shouldn't really have, but if the board doesn't see it, it's not going to launch a legal battle to deal with it. But don't ask, don't tell would not would not work if there's a bike room or there's common areas where the board ha- knows or has reason to know that there are prohibited items there and um, that could void the policy. So the board would have to enforce it. I'm sure people are going to be thrilled to hear that, that live in high rises, that there may be an issue with these bikes. The other yeah. issue that may come up is the insurance companies may put in or request additional fire prevention measures, which I understand they're, they're taking a look at. I guess the cost of that would have to be spread out through all the owners. Right. That, that's a that's a benefit that would translate to everybody. And the analysis would be, this would be the same. But condominium has to have a certain type of insurance. There's no doubt about that, non-negotiable. It goes out, it's got three proposals for insurance. Two of those policies mandate the installation of a fire suppression system at uh, $300,000. Uh, over the course of two years or something. And the third policy doesn't require that, but it costs you $300,000 more to get it. In the end, it might be six of one half dozen of another, in which case you probably would just defer to the one that makes people safer, I gather. But that economic analysis is reasonable and would be okay to undertake. Insurance companies uh, might provide coverage without those upgrades and the price might still be appropriate, in which case the board might choose that one. Uh, but it has to get the insurance. So if the if the marketplace has dictated that you can't get insurance unless you do X, then they're going to have to do they're going to have to do X. Last part, and it always is part of all our questions for the most part, is about making accommodation. More and more of these scooters, handicapped, are using these kind of batteries. Right. A lot of people live in high rises. They park them in their units. They park them in the hallways. They're all over the place. What is going to be the role or what are going to be the requirements for an association when the insurance company comes and says, hey, you can't have any of these kind of batteries? What are they going to be telling these people who require these kind of uh, vehicles? And then, Dave, I'll go even further. What happens if this becomes the norm and these are the only kind of batteries that are available? I'm going to get ahead of you a little bit before you tell me, well, maybe they have to purchase a scooter with a non-lithium battery. I'm assuming for the purposes of the, of the question that they are legally disabled and they, in fact, need the scooter with the battery. Um, and the reason I'm saying that is because as as association counsel, that's what I would be asking privately to the board. Like, you know, our first analysis has to be whether or not the person even qualifies for some sort of accommodation. They so have get, no legs. Okay, but if, oh, they have no legs. Okay, that's an easy one then. Not for the person with no legs, of course, but for for us, uh, in that case, then that, that there wouldn't be an issue. And at that place, the only issue is the accommodation, and the condominium would have to reasonably accommodate uh, the person's disability in this regard. And if if it is unable to get insurance for the building at a cost that is affordable to the people that live there, then the person probably wouldn't be entitled to the scooter. I mean, it would be pretty harsh, but I don't know what other choice the board would have. You'd have to have actual evidence that 
you're unable to get the statutorily required insurance if you allow these particular items. And if you have that evidence, then I, I don't see how an owner would be unable would be able to have the scooter. You can have a policy that prohibits ion batteries in a condominium building. Just because it has a negative effect on people with disabilities doesn't inherently make it illegal. Also, can an insurance company give you give you coverage with an exclusion, which is like we'll give you insurance, but we're excluding any fires that are caused by ion batteries. So you're free to have the ion batteries. Just God help you if the fire is caused by one of them because we're not paying. 